Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, aka PD Beats. PD Beats here for Pop Turnative, speaking to Sarah Podemski about FX's Reservation Dogs on Hulu. We're also going to be talking about Resident Alien on Sci Fi. Welcome to the show. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks for having me. I'm so excited. I mean, this is, there's so much to talk about. He's at the top of the oh. interview. I mean, like so many things. I mean, it's, it's, and like, you know, the projects are coming out for new seasons, like close, like what's going through your mind these days? <laughs> it's, it's good. It's a bit, it's like, it's very, uh, like, it's a lot of logistics. I'm always like, yeah. okay, where am I going to be now? Where are we, where are we going to be? Where are we traveling? Where, you know, how can I schedule things? So it's an exciting time. Yep. Um, and also just so happy that, um, you know that these shows have reached an audience, like a really loyal audience. It's you never know, like you're you you know, you get a job and you're like, yeah, I'm, I got a job, and then it's like, is it going to be good? Who knows? Is anyone going to watch? Who knows? So when this happens, it's just it's just such a treat. It's and such a treat. I don't think you could predict it. Like I really don't think. Like everyone says, like I had a feeling. I'm like it's like uh, maybe you leaned more. Yeah, it's like no, you you don't have a crystal ball. You know what yes. I mean? <laughs> Although, you know, I feel like when I did both of these shows, mm -hmm. being in it, it mm -hmm. wasn't, it wasn't like I knew they were going to be a success, but I just knew that there was something really special. Like 100%. working with all the other actors, reading the scripts, I was like, oh, this is, this is really good stuff, which I don't always feel like. Well, Reservation Dogs, I mean, I'd like you to kind of like, this is more of kind of a statement rather than a question that I'd just like you to kind of continue on. But like, I think it's arguably the most important show on television right now. I'll take it. I yeah. think we'll take Representation. That. Like it's important. Yeah. Like it's like, how, what, what do you think about all of that? Like it is super amazing. You know, storytelling has evolved where stories that were never told are finally being told. So what's that like for you with, with reservation dogs? It's pretty intense. Yep. It's pretty, it's pretty intense because I think there were certain times over the last like 30, 40 years in film and television where, you know, people were like, this is it. Natives are going to have their time to shine. And there was like a minute or, you know, there was kind of talk of it. Um, but this time it feels different. You yep. know, we have Rutherford Falls, Reservation Dogs, you know, my sister tomorrow's on a show called Outer Range. Like we just have a level of indigenous representation that we, that people are watching now. Yep. And there's an audience for it. So it feels, it feels very validating. I'm so happy mostly that like, we just get to see the talent that's in our community. I think that's the thing that I'm just happiest about because we've always known yeah. that it was here and now we can all work, which is just crazy. <laughs> Absolutely. But, it, and it, it, you know, you look at, you know, reservation dogs and, you know, it was one of those things where it was announced, you know, everyone was like, oh my God, this is amazing. Finally, you know what I mean? And then you see the show and you're just like, this is just amazing. All the characters are so drawn out, if you know what I mean. Like there's so much depth and growth. I wanted to know about that. Like, do you, when do you start noticing how complex all these characters are in Reservation Dogs? Yeah, I mean, the script the scripts are so well written. I yep. mean, we have fully native writers room. We have all native directors. Um, you know, the fact that Taika was able to, you know, create something with Sterling and, and give his name and support to have something greenlit and supported the way it was. We always need those kind of champions because it's tough to take a chance. You know, yep. I, I get that this industry, you know, we want to make sure that things are going to go and that people are going to like them. So it, it really started with, great people mm -hmm. in the room yeah all the writers who have this lived experience mm -hmm. they can write incredibly nuanced complex characters which we just haven't really had before yeah and then you have these beautiful performers and you get to see like this level of like you know those two things meet you know the skill and then um you know the writing and then the personality and the soul of that actor kind of translates each character into their own creation so it's really it's really kind of a magic thing when it happens like on such a level and this show it really did it's so important it's so amazing and like i said yeah you mentioned you know reservation dogs you know you mentioned rutherford falls um utter rage another one too shorzy on hulu shout out to shorzy yeah. on hulu is yeah. it's just it's it's amazing and you know 
I love how both these shows we're talking about that you're on, Sarah, like Reservation Dawson and Resident, Resident Alien as well. These are genre-bending shows. Do you know what I mean by that a little bit? Like, what, do we, what do we call... Like, like it's they're hard. Sneaky. Yeah. They're sneaky because they get in. They get in with the the crowd that like loves that kind of unique perspective. Yeah. Then they come in with that like one two punch of like, oh my gosh, it's so good. Yes. It's like, full of love and honesty. It's about humanity. It's about community. Um. So yeah, you're totally right. It's like it's very sneaky. Like what is it? But it's <laughs> like I don't think. <laughs> people woke up in the morning. Like, I, I feel like maybe now because it's a trend. I feel like I like, remember like how there's always trends and fads, right? Like hot sauce at one point, you know, a couple years ago was like the biggest thing, right? I feel like genre bending is like a trend now. I really do think. It's a great way into audiences that wouldn't naturally gravitate to someone. But my point is, I think... <laughs> It's premeditated now, but you look at some of my favorite movies from like 2010 or like even before that, like, I don't think someone woke up and was like, I want to make a <laughs> comedy horror action slasher. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. It just happened naturally because someone was that crazy. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think about that though? Because I feel like it's like part of the, like the industry now, like people don't want to make one thing. I think it's really exciting because even for us, like, you know, in our community, like we're storytellers, they, it, it exists on so many different, you know, planes and, mm -hmm. and, um, you know, the spiritual and the, you know, fantastical and the physical world and the animal world and the planet world and the plant world, like those are things that in our storytelling that like exist all at the same time. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of almost like a natural progression in terms of like, you know, spirit, you know, and reservation dogs and yeah. like these kinds of hallucinations. It's like, it seems such a natural way to, to connect with an audience. Cause everyone has felt those times where they're like, you know, they're like have that voice in their head or they're like, you know, needing that extra, um, you know, advice from somebody who's yeah. not there. So it's just kind of making that a reality and putting those characters, you know, in the flesh. So I think it's a really natural progression. Um, and I think audiences are ready for it. So maybe we just weren't ready for it up until this point. And it was kind of culty, you know, 10, 15, 20, 30 years ago. But I think now people are like, we want a new perspective. We want a fresh point of view. Yeah. And this is a great way to say, like, let's challenge your, you know, let's challenge this audience and, and trust that they can go on this journey with us. It's like, it's almost funny now when like an actual like <laughs> movie or TV show that it comes out and it's like, you know what it is. It's like, that's a rarity now. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> it's like a linear story. We like know there's characters. They're all human. It's like a rom-com. And there's, there's, it's lovely too. That's storytelling is also great. Cause 100%. you're just like, the ride. So yeah. But I think that that's a really, that's an inter interesting point. I kind of, yeah. When I'm, when I'm doing these shows, you forget that they are, you know, they kind of straddle so many different genres. hundred percent. I would like to shift gears a little bit, talk for resident alien on sci-fi, if that's okay with you. Um, I find it very interesting because <laughs> anything about sci-fi and space and everything, this goes back. I don't think we're reinventing the wheel here, but like with this show, it's like, aliens and space in my opinion is like in the background like it's about like the it's about the characters and like what's happening and like the crazy antics do you know what i mean by that a little bit yeah, totally. <laughs> it's like that's the that's like the plate that's like this what you're serving um but it's such it's a show about humanity like it's a show about community and family and what it means like to have this human experience, which we're all feeling alienated, you know, and alien in at one point or another. So you're, you're so right. It's, it is kind of, it's, um, you get that, you know, you get that built in audience already who love the comic books and who yeah. love the character. Is it always going to be overwhelming to work on a project that's ad adapted by something that was like around that people were very interested in and familiar with. Like, I don't, I feel like maybe the excitement overtakes the overwhelming aspect of it, but like it, it existed, but now you're making it into something we've like in a way we've never seen before. I mean, yeah. I feel like that's always going to be overwhelming. I ha I didn't feel that personally okay. because I, 
that the the creative team, okay. especially like, but you know Jordan, what I mean, though, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure that for for like the producers and the network, I'm sure that that's always like, you know, a question of like, are we going to do this? Are we going to do it right? But the the creative team of of Resident Alien, it's just they did such beautiful work mm -hmm. with. I think the content and bringing it, you know, bring opening up, opening up new worlds. Yep. So um, I didn't feel it like as an actor on the show, but I definitely, I think it was also because I trusted the team. The team always was, you know, super respectful of, of the comic books and, and working with the writer as well. So um, I yeah, but I, can't, it, I mean, I can't imagine like being in the Marvel stuff and that universe where like people, like, I don't know. I feel like that's really I stressful. can't even, I can't even imagine like the first chats of like, okay, you have this graphic novel, right? <laughs> Can you like, what are those? What's the starting point on that? Yeah. Like, Bring what's it to that life. first Bring coffee? It to life. Yeah, but like, what's that first meeting up for coffee? Like, talking, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> it's so crazy. Yeah, I'm sure there's so much, there's a lot of pressure. There is. And I think too, it's interesting because we're kind of going into that right now with a lot of indigenous authors is that yep. their, their books are being, um, you know, scooped up for film and television rights. And there is still, even like for that culture thing, you're like, or who's, how are we going to do this? And how are we going to do it respectfully? And it's like all those levels of really trying to respect the, um, you know, what you're building a story on. So a hundred percent. It like, yeah, it's just, it's really crazy because, Resident Alien is just so it is a very complex show. And I don't feel like I feel like some people don't realize sometimes how deep it actually is. Do you know what I mean by that? <laughs> That's why it's sneaky. I think it's I think you're right. It's a very sneaky. It's like putting medicine in like with like covered in chocolate or something. But that's I <laughs> I've never heard for, that before. <laughs> <laughs> but like I I, I read the scripts, like I read the scripts. Yeah. I knew it was a good show, but then seeing it and how they created this world, it really, that it gets to that like empathetic part of you that you're just, you're on this journey. And I really do think that that's the real heart of that show is that Alan Tudyk's performance is just unbelievable. His facial expressions. No, too much. Like he says <laughs> so much without saying anything. You know what I mean? But <laughs> It's pretty brilliant. So yeah, when you have <laughs> when you have someone who's like so good at acting alien, it is it's like you're just you'd buy into it. You're just like, yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. so great. And both these shows are so <laughs> good. I'm so happy for you. Um Sarah, thank you so much great. for coming on Pop Turtle. So great chatting with you. Thanks for having me. It was great to chat with you. So quick plugs, um, in terms of you know what they can expect and everything. There's a new season of FX's Reservation Dogs on Hulu. August 3rd. August 3rd. And then, and then Resident Alien on sci-fi. The second part of the first, the second season is August 10th. So you're just doing like this is yeah. this is calm before the storm, basically. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just so excited for everyone to see them. Like, you know, you do these shows and you're just like, oh my gosh, I can't wait for it and to I share. And I do have to say too, um, it is an amazing time for Hulu and FX on Hulu. And it's it's incredible. Like I just everything they're putting out right now is just a home run. <laughs> um, it's a good team to be a part of. It's really, yeah, you really need those champions to kind of take those unique voices and perspectives and, you know, elevate them. And, and I, I think love Reservation Dogs. Um, yeah. And that's like an FX Reservation Dogs on Hulu. But then there's also The Bear on, I don't yes. know if you've seen. Which have I you, haven't seen it. I, need to, I heard it was excellent. It's, it's, <laughs> I can't, it's, it, I love it. So it's so amazing. It is oh, one of the God. best things I've ever seen. It is so, you will feel so overwhelmed when you watch it. Okay. Because it's just <laughs> diving, it's just, it's just diving into the world of a, it's just diving into the world of like a restaurant and a kitchen. And I don't think we've seen a lot of that before. You know what I mean? So cool. But okay. it, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, you got you gotta check that out. Um, social media, there's an Instagram account they could follow you at. Yes. Uh yes, Sarah Podemski underscore Sarah underscore Podemski. Underscore? <laughs> I think if they just put Sarah Podemski, they'll they'll find it, right? <laughs> you know what's funny though? There's another Sarah Podemski that's a private account that often people tag. So I'm, try I'm trying to get verified. I'm trying to get verified on Instagram if you have any connections so that that doesn't happen. <laughs> oh, it's funny, baby. It's especially when you're waiting for that tag, like you know something's coming out the wrong one. 
And I'm like, what? I did that a book. So yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, so this will be see my face. <laughs> absolutely. Well, this has been Pop Turn of YouTube.com slash Pop Turn for previous episodes. Till next time, it's to Sarah Podemsky and PD Beats signing off. Thank you for tuning in to Pop Turnative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Pop Turnative on YouTube. Be sure to like Pop Turnative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.